Hello there, it's Fergus from Black Hall St Columbus Church here again. Today I want to talk to you about a very special day that's coming up. A day in the life of the whole community, everybody in Black Hall, and a day in the life of our congregation. It's a very special day and it's a special day for the whole country. It's called Remembrance Day. And that day is on the 11th of November. It's on the 11th of November every single year we have Remembrance Day. And on the Sunday nearest to it, we have Remembrance Sunday. So what's so important that we need to remember every single year? Well, over a hundred years ago, there was a big war. A war that involved almost every single country in the world. It was called a World War, World War I. And after that, although that was a terrible war, they had another war, another World War called World War II. And lots of countries were involved in that too. So why was the world fighting? Well, people were fighting because they were wanting to keep our country and other countries free. When I say free, I mean to allow people in those countries to have freedoms that we now take for granted. Freedom to speak, freedom to believe what we want to believe, and lots more besides. And the people who fought in those wars from our own country risked their lives and in some cases gave their lives in order that we could have those freedoms. And we remember them so that we make sure we never ever have to go to war again in order to save the freedoms that we've got. We need to make sure we appreciate what we've got. Now, one of the ways that we remember people is by wearing a symbol. And the symbol that many people wear is a poppy. Now, a poppy is a kind of flower. And it's a special flower that grew on the battlefields. That's where the men were fighting in the First World War. Now the poppy is a, a lovely red flower, but it's a symbol now. And it's a symbol of remembrance for those people who gave their lives fighting for our freedom and so that we could have peace. But the poppy is also a symbol of peace. We want it to show that we never want to go to war again. I'm going to read to you something that Jesus said, which is important when we're remembering about people. Jesus said this. He said, No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Okay? And we know that Jesus was all about loving people. He said, no one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. And Jesus called us all his friends if we do what he asks of us. And what he asks of us is to love one another as he has loved us. And Jesus laid down his life for us. So what we do is, on Remembrance Day, we remember the men and the women who made a sacrifice for us and who fought and laid down their life. Now, normally, normally, we would come to church and we would have a big worship service and we would sing songs. And one of the things we would do is we would go outside and lay wreaths. A wreath is a ring of poppies. And we would lay them by the big cross, which is the war memorial outside the church. This year, because of the coronavirus, we can't do that. We can't do that this year. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't remember. 
And so what we are going to do this year is we are going to do a thing called pebble poppies. Pebble poppies. What I did, I went down to the beach with my daughters and we found some pebbles. And we got some pens. So you can just get any any kind of pebble that you like, a, 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 a reasonable size pebble. And we got some pens. And you only need three colours for poppies. Green, black and red. And then we painted them. These, these pens are acrylic painter pens. But you could use a paintbrush and paint. And a poppy is quite a simple thing. Here's one I painted. It's very simple to paint. It's got a wee black dot, a couple of red leaves and a green stem. So that's my pebble poppy. One of my daughters painted this one. That one's got four leaves and it's got a wee green leaf down here. And she's also painted some words on it. And you could do that. A word like hope or peace or love. Or if you preferred, you could maybe try painting a dove, a white dove, or some other symbol of peace. Here's another one here. And what we're going to do, we're going to take these pebble poppies and we're going to place them at the big cross, the war memorial, outside the church up to the 11th of November. So you, with your mums and dads, or your grannies and grandpas, or anybody else, can paint a pebble poppy and then take it along and put it by the war memorial. And when you do that, you have a remember. There's names. Why don't you have a read of the names on the war memorial? Because they are all people who lived in this area in Black Hall and who gave their lives in the war so that we could have peace and we would be able to live our lives with the freedoms that we have. And later on, nearer Remembrance Day, which is the 11th of November, on Sunday the 8th, I'll do another talk and we'll have a talk a bit more about poppies. So why don't you see if you can get as many pebble poppies as we can and we'll put them all round the war memorial. I hope you have fun finding your pebbles and getting some paint and making those. And we'll speak again about poppy pebbles later on. Bye bye now and have a good week.